The Super Mario Bros. movie has a problem, but it's not with the movie itself. It's the marketing. Everything we've seen for the Super Mario Bros. movie looks awesome. I'm hyped for this more than almost anything else in 2023. And yet, there's a part of me that wonders, have we already been spoiled? Are the trailers showing too much? Before we get into the absolute feast of this discussion, let's talk about another feast. Today's sponsor, Factor. This video is brought to you by Factor. They deliver fresh, never frozen meals right to your door using ingredients with integrity. If you're too busy to cook, Factor meals are ready to go in about two minutes. No prep, no mess. There are also more than 30 chef prepared weekly options, so there's always something new for you to try. Now Factor sent me this big old box of goodies, which features a few meals, and hey, even some smoothies. Cool. I've also never cared to cook much myself, so this almost being ready when it comes to my house is a pretty big W. Factor is flexible, and I like that they give a bunch of options so I can spend money on what I would eat. It also helps that the meals are relatively low in calories, meaning you can eat without any regrets. Oh yeah, and Factor is now owned by HelloFresh, so there are even more meal plans to choose from. Switch between the brands, and there's something for everyone, if you're interested. Head to factor75.com or click the link below, and use code VALESKIBUM50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. That's factor75.com with code VALESKIBUM50. Ladies and gentlemen, we are feasting tonight. So alright, Nintendo and Illumination have been going BEAST mode for the Mario movie marketing. Dozens of trailers and TV spots, advertisements in Times Square, countless interviews, a fully interactive website, even real life Mario shoes for some reason. All of this is pretty fun. But the sheer amount of promotion is also a double edged sword. On one hand, showing this much footage is enough to get anyone hyped, hopefully bringing in a wider audience who otherwise would have bought a ticket. On the other hand, we've seen so many clips from the movie that you start to ask, what haven't we seen? Is Illumination just spoiling all the major events? To answer that question, let's look back at everything in presumably chronological order and see how much we already know. Consider this your one and only spoiler warning. So in the beginning, Bowser conquers the Penguin Kingdom. Do you yield? <laughs> I do not. We're then introduced to Mario and Luigi, two plumbers who have their own business right in the heart of Brooklyn. They also used to have a boss named Foreman Spike, which we know from casting and not the actual footage. Eventually, the two brothers get separated. Mario heads to the Mushroom Kingdom and gets introduced, while Luigi finds himself right in the clutches of Bowser. Mario then meets Princess Peach, where these three head around the world to put a stop to the evil that threatens their very existence. After some training months, montages and deep conversations, the gang ends up in the Kong arena. Mario faces off against Donkey Kong, but one way or another, they become buddies after the match. Mario, Peach, and Toad are given their own carts thanks to this building in the Land of Kongs. On Rainbow Road, they all head to the sky, at one point facing off against Bowser's minions in space. <laughs> Now presumably towards the end of the movie, Bowser sets his sights on the Mushroom Kingdom. Mario and Donkey Kong are ready to face Bowser. Peach and Toad also head into battle in their own way. Cut to black. All of that may not happen chronologically exactly how I said it, but they're my predictions based on the footage that's already out there. The Super Mario Bros. movie has a runtime of about an hour and a half, which is short. Does that leave room for any surprises? Well, yeah, at least a few. I mean, the final fight hasn't been spoiled at all. Most of the movie's middle is a mystery. There's also a million possible character cameos and moments that couldn't have been in the trailer. I do think we've been spoiled a little too much for the story, but this is Mario. Let's be real, audiences are here for a lot more than just the story. Either way, I'm looking forward to it, but what do you think? Is Illumination doing a good job of hyping fans up, or is it the opposite effect, where they're making the movie less fun by showing everything? Let's talk in the comments.
But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below to let me know what you think. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.